Welcome to Kasum Science Academy classes and in this video we are about to start with Newton's third law of motion. So what is Newton's third law of motion? And we are going to note down some important points regarding this. <clears throat> so Newton's first law of motion states that uh, when one object exerts a force on the other object, let's say this is an object that is lying on the horizontal that is ground so this is the ground and this is an object so this object is applying force which is weight on the ground so <clears throat> we call it as an action so in turn this ground also applies force in the opposite direction and we call it the reaction and both these forces are equal both these forces this reaction is also equal to w so this w is the weight that is the force and we know that weight is a force which is an object that is attracted towards the center of the earth so this object is attracted towards the center of the earth and it applies the force on the ground which we call weight and in turn the ground <coughs> applies equal and opposite reaction in the opposite direction so this is exactly what is newton's third law of motion so we can say that as per newton's third law of motion okay so newton's third law of motion the first there is one object so when one object exerts a force on other object so this is the first case now in turn the other object It also exerts an equal and opposite force on first object. object. So this is Newton's third law of motion. So we have to remember some important points regarding this Newton's third law of motion. The things that are to be noted is that first of all there are two forces and one force is called action so there are two forces first force one force is called action so this is the action and this is the reaction so one force is called action and the other force is called reaction so this other force is called the reaction so we can say that for newton's second law it's the action and reaction these are the two forces force one and force two these are equal and opposite so this is the first point that is to be noted now the second point is that both the forces are in opposite direction so both the forces are in opposite direction that is the point that is to be noted and both forces act on different bodies. So the action acts on ground and the reaction acts on the block on the ground or the object on the ground. So we can say that both forces, they act on different bodies. this is the third point and now we had already mentioned that both forces are equal so 
But he says both the forces are equal. However, if they produce an acceleration, the acceleration may be different. We are going to explain this force called. So acceleration may be different. Now, well, let's see. <clears throat> so acceleration is different because the mass of two bodies are different because of different masses of two bodies. Okay, let's say this is a block and this is resting on the table. Mass of the block is M1 and mass of the table is M2. So let's say mass this block A and table B is applying the force F1. So F AB is the force applied by the object A on B and FB is the force applied by the object B on A. So these forces are equal but in opposite direction. So this force FAB is in downward direction and the force on object <coughs> this is a force applied by object A on B and this is a force applied by object B on A. In the upward direction both these forces are equal and opposite. Now we know that the formula for the force according to Newton's second law is m into a. So for this, it is it is a force applied by object A on B. So mass of object A into the acceleration. This will be the acceleration of first body. <coughs> the force of one body. This is the mass of first body. Force of one body. So this is the force applied by object A on B. So this is force is applied on object A on B. So this is the mass of object A into acceleration of second body. Now this is equal to negative. Negative is for the in the opposite direction. This is the force applied by B on A. So this is M1 that is the mass of the first object into acceleration of first body. So in this case, if now, if mass of first body, this M1, is greater than M2, then the acceleration of first body, if M1 is greater than M2, then acceleration of first body will obviously be less than acceleration of second body and if m2 is greater than 1 then acceleration of second body is less than acceleration of first body so this is how the acceleration may be different because of different masses of two objects okay let's consider some practical examples of the Newton's third law of motion and the first one is walking so we are able to walk because of Newton's third law of motion so walking so when we walk so let's say this is our feet and so when we walk our feet it's now like this and it exerts a force in the backward direction and in turn the ground pushes us forward. So we are able to walk because of the Newton's third law of motion. So when we walk, our feet exert a force on the ground. On the ground, which is action. And this force is in backward direction. Now, in turn, the ground exert a force in forward direction, and this 
makes us move forward. So that is how we are able to walk. And next example we can consider is jumping to land from boat. So we are jumping from the boat to land on let's say from okay let's consider this is a boat with the water and here is the land so a person is about to jump from here so when he jumps from to the land he <coughs> a sailor jumps from the boat so he exerts a force on uh, the boat in the backward direction and the boat gives equal and opposite force in the forward direction this makes the person get out of the boat okay. so the first one here the is that person exerts a force on the boat in backward direction so the two objects are the person and the boat and this force is called action and in turn in turn this boat exerts equal force on man on let's say the sailor in forward direction and this makes man out of the boat okay there can be other examples as well and let's consider this <coughs> colliding of two football players let's say the two football players collide and both get hurt so colliding of two football players let's say these are the two football players a and B and when both these collide both of them hurt because when they collide A exerts force on B and B exerts force on A and both of them get hurt okay again the most important one is the recoil of a gun So you might have seen that whenever we fire a bullet from a gun, it pushes us back, pushes us in uh, backward, and these forces are equal and opposite. But the bullet moves with a greater velocity, and we are not uh, pushed backward with an equal acceleration with the greater acceleration because our mass is greater. So when a gun is fired. We will discuss this later on in the law of conservation of momentum. So when a gun is fired, so it exerts a force on bullet and bullet comes out with greater velocity. It exerts force on bullet. In the forward direction, so bullet also exerts equal and opposite force in the backward direction. So that's why we keep the gun 
close or tied to our shoulder so this is let's say the gun and this is the trigger it's a bullet inside so it comes out with great velocity and in turn the gun is also pushed backwards so that's why we keep this gun tied to our shoulders so that because if there's a gap between the gun and the shoulders then the force with which it comes backwards will hurt our shoulders so that's why we keep it tied to our shoulders okay so these are the examples of uh, the newtons the or the applications of the newtons third law of motion okay, let's move on to the next one do like share and subscribe thank you for watching